Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you something that uh, has been haunting me for about seven, eight months. I have been trying to track a boost leak and finally, a few days ago, I found the damn culprit. Now, keep in mind that there were a couple of other issues like the intake manifold spacer for the methanol injection. The O-rings on, on that thing had been completely destroyed. Somehow, one of the times where I was trying to chase that damn boost leak, I created another one by damaging those rings. What else? I also had... I, I don't know why am I pointing over there? My hair, man. <clears throat> Anyways, I also had a issue with the oil feed line to the turbo. Where that feed line connects to, there's like a little, uh, little piece that the oil feed line connects to underneath was leaking oil. And that is something that I cannot mess around with because it actually says when you buy these turbos, do not turn that um, little nut or whatever it is. I'm not sure what it is. Anyways, it's a seal. And if you turn it, you break the seal and that's why you get oil draining from there. <clears throat> so I sent that over to Precision Turbo and they went ahead and did a fix on that warranty. I got it back. I still had a boost leak. I went to Black Market Racing and they're the ones that actually found the leak on the intake manifold spacer, so I fixed that, and I still wasn't hitting peak boost to, um, or getting near it. What else? Oh, when I went to BMR, they actually were spinning the wheel on the turbocharger, and they said that it should be spinning a lot smoother than what it is. So there's another issue there. So anyways, I called Precision Up, and they went ahead and asked me to send it back in. I had to pay for the shipping, of course, and I did that. So. <clears throat> when they got it, they took it apart and they said, hey, you know what, we really can't see anything or whatever. But anyways, what they did is just, so, you know, to make sure, double check or whatever, so I don't have to send it back a, a third time. They went ahead and replaced the cartridge knife. You know anything about turbochargers and, and you have a ball bearing turbocharger, the cartridge is probably the most expensive part. Not 100% sure on that, but it is pretty damn expensive. <clears throat> so they went ahead and replaced the cartridge and I got the turbo charger back hooked everything back up and I still wasn't hitting peak boost and then I found somehow that the oil drain line where it connects to the turbocharger became loose so then I tightened that up I didn't think that was going to change anything but I did some pulls anyways and no, sure enough it did not what else um I mean I went up and down through the damn car trying to figure out where the hell that boost leak was finally 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 I found the culprit. It's this thing right here. If you don't know where this is, it goes on the driver's side right next to the firewall. One of the lines connects to the intake manifold. Another line connects to the, I think it's the brake cylinder booster, brake booster. I'm not 100% sure on that. And then the other one, one, one of the lines that I had to tap off for the blow-off valve that I got, it's going there to the blow-off valve. And there's one more line that goes somewhere back to the top of the head or, or the valve cover. <clears throat> so I'm not sure what it is. The boost reference most likely. But I'm going to show you where it is if you don't know, just so you guys can see for yourselves. Alright, so I turned on the flash, so we're going to get in there so you guys can see. But anyways, yes, that is a sock on the crankcase breather because it is spewing out oil now that I am hitting crazy boost. You know what? And I haven't even seen how high the boost is hitting, but I'm pretty damn sure it's probably hitting around 24 PSI. I, I could be wrong. Anyways, I don't have to speculate because I'm still tuning with Ryan. Okay, so this is the driver's side. There's the firewall over there. And this, guys, I know it kind of looks a little bit busy, all that is, is for the methanol injection. It's four ports going into that intake manifold spacer and then one down here, uh, right there, for the charge pipe. I'll probably be taking off all that gold wrap eventually. It's starting to look ugly. And look how bad that damn Mishimoto coolant tank scratched the hell out of it right there. I, I don't know how it looks. It's very sloppy. Anyways. So here's the line that I replaced. One line goes here. And then... 
let's see how. Huh? Here's one of the other lines going right there and then right there. There you go. Right there is the intake manifold line where it connects. And I put some of these because these bad boys weren't working down there. It was too, too wide. Same with right here. And then here's the T right there, the other T. There's one T and there's the other T down there. And this one is going over to the blow off valve. So anyways, I'm hitting, I think full boost now so I can continue with the tuning on this newer turbo. This is a new turbo. I mean, it's already like a year old because I've been chasing all these issues with the damn car. Every time you change something, uh, expect to have an expense of some sort, whether it's a vacuum line, additional spring for the wastegate, which I had to add a second one. <sighs> the expenses never stop coming, guys. But I know it's been a while since I've made any videos. I, I honestly don't know when I'll be making another one, but I did want to provide that update that the car is now hitting boost. So I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you guys some pictures after this of how the car looks now because I've changed the entire setup of the car and the way it looks. I think it looks pretty great. I would love somebody to show me how to properly paint these damn body parts. I, I completely fucked that up. Um, but the car's running and I'm happy about that right now. I gotta pay off a couple things that I have on her, ha ha. Once I do that, then I'll save some money so I can have the car professionally painted to match the rest of the car. Anyways, any comments, uh, questions, please uh, go ahead and post them down. See you guys on the next video. Peace.